Hi, this is Dina for Split Coast Stampers. In this video, I'll show you how to make this little gift box for a graduate. We'll also be making the tassel that goes on the top, so if you don't need a graduation present, you can just skip to the tassel part. To begin, you'll need three squares of cardstock in your school colors. One is five and a half inches, the second is five and one eighth inches, and the third one is four and three quarters. We'll start with a five and a half inch square, and this is going to be the base of the box. And we're going to score this piece at one inch on all four sides. Next, we're going to take the five and an eighth inch square, and that's going to be the lid of the box. We're going to score that piece at three quarters of an inch on all four sides. Go ahead and crease all the score lines that you've made to get ready to create the box. And I'm just using the side of my stylus here, but a bone folder or any other flat tool would work as well. We just want nice sharp creases on all the sides. To make tabs for the box, I'm going to cut in on the two score lines here up to where they meet this horizontal score line. And then I'm going to cut in at just a slight angle on both sides of each tab. And that just gives me a little wiggle room on the tab and keeps me from having a little bit sticking up over the edge in case my first cut wasn't perfectly straight. I'm going to do the same on the opposite side of the base. And then I'll make these same cuts on the lid piece so that both sides are ready to form into the pieces of the box. To form the box, I'm going to put a little glue on the top of each tab so I can glue them to the inside of the box. I'm using tacky glue here and you can use a liquid glue or double sided tape, it's up to you, whatever you have and you're comfortable with. I like having a little bit of drying time to get the positioning just right in case I miss the first time. So that's why I chose liquid glue for this project. So I'll do that on both sides of the base and both sides of the lid. And when I'm done, the lid should fit nicely onto the box base. Go ahead and check that before you move on to the next step. The remaining square that we have here that's four and three quarters is going to be the top of our graduation cap, our little mortar board. So we're going to glue that to the lid of the box. But first, I want to mark the center point of the piece. And that's going to be at two and three eighths inches from both sides. When I have my box together, I want that mark to be on the top of the box so I can use it to position my tassel. So I'm going to flip the piece face down and then I'll put glue on the top of the lid piece. And center that on the bottom side. To make a tassel for the top, you'll need a stiff template that's about four inches long. I have a piece of mat board here, but you could use cardboard or heavy plastic. You just want something that's not going to curve as you wrap your twine around it. I've also got about 10 to 12 feet of twine here, and then two cut pieces of twine that are about 10 to 12 inches long each. I'm going to take one of the cut pieces and lay it across my template horizontally. You really can skip this step and try to string this piece through after you have the twine wrapped, but I think it's easier to just start off with it there already. And you're going to line up the end of the long piece of twine with the bottom of the template and just wrap it around and around until you have the fullness that you want. The number of times around is really up to you and it also depends on the thickness of the twine that you have. The yellow tassel that I'll show at the end of the video only took 12 times around. That was a thicker twine. But with this thinner twine, I think it went around 20 times. When you're done wrapping, push the strands together on the template and then pull that horizontal piece up to the top of the template and tie it in a tight square knot around the loops of the tassel. Once that's tied tightly, you can go ahead and slide the tassel off of the template over to the side. And then take a minute to make sure that the knot is centered around the bundle and that the strands are straightened out and laying nicely together. Now 
I'm going to use the other cut piece of twine next to wrap around the tassel and create kind of the head and neck of the tassel, if you will. I lined the end up with the bottom of my bundle and I'm going to draw the twine up with the other strands to about 3 eighths of an inch from the top. And then I'll just wrap that piece tightly around and around the bundle, keeping each round close and parallel to the one before. Just do it tightly and neatly. And you can decide how far down you want to wrap it. I went about another 3 eighths of an inch here. When you're done wrapping, tie the loose ends of that cut piece together in a square knot. And then just smooth the ends down with the other strands of the tassel. Once again, make sure all your knots are centered and tight and your strands are neat and straight. And then you'll finish it off by trimming the ends neatly together with scissors. And that is the completed tassel. To attach the tassel to the box top, you'll need a hot glue gun and a matching button that's about an inch across. I think this one might be 7 eighths. I didn't have a red button, so I just took a neutral one and I colored it with an alcohol marker. And that's a great way to customize accessories or embellishments to your projects. I'll lay my tassel onto the box lid to determine how long the tie needs to be and then just trim off the excess with scissors. I just want the tassel to hang off the lid at the side and mine hangs off maybe half an inch to three quarters of an inch. And then I'll use hot glue to attach the tassel to the box and a little more hot glue to cover up that center spot with the button. The finished box is three and a half inches across, so that's big enough to accommodate a three by three card, a gift card, or a folded check or cash. Here's my finished box, and also another sample with a tassel that I made with heavier twine. I can't wait to see how you customize these boxes for your graduate, so please remember to share in the gallery. Thank you so much for watching.